Hi everybody, it's Janice, and I am here to share my goodie bag that I got from my friend Robin. She went to the Scrapbook Expo, and she was sweet enough to um, bring me some little goodies. So I'm going to share them with you, and want to say thank you to her. It totally made my day yesterday. We got together at a um, the Michael's Crop that happens every first Saturday of the month, by the way. I work at the one at Waterford Lakes, and um, yeah, so she brought me this bag. So I will show you what she sh got me. This was included in there. This is a Heidi Swap little, um, I guess, um, they are stickers, and so... They're kind of like chip 40 stickers or card stocky stickers. She got me this. She had she didn't buy this at the expo, but she got it for me a few weeks ago. If you all, I don't know if you watch me regularly, you know that I love everything Heidi Swap, and I was griping because my Joann's did not have. This, these stamp sets they kept selling out and so um, she picked it up for me so I love it I love that this has all these numbers and all these numbers and all these numbers and then it has all the days of the week and then it has like this textury background that you can um, do like backgrounds and stuff like that so cool and the you are here and loving this and the hashtag and the airplane and look at that like where you could check it off this is so cute and then the um these words here that you can color in and stuff so we got that and she got me some washi tape Painting Company. There's another washi tape in here. Cute. She got me some um, candy too. She shared it with me. Aren't those cute? They look like earrings. They look like candy, but they remind me of earrings too. There's a yellow one in here too. Tuesday morning, some little metal bows. That would be cute in my sister's mini book. And then she got me from one of my favorite places at the expo at Sparkle and Sprinkle. They sell these mud puddles. And she got me the Tahiti dry sand. Woohoo! Very exciting. And then she got me this um, snow and it's glittery. So that's cool. I'm so excited about this. She had no clue. I mean, I've seen people on YouTube using this, and I, I know I've secretly in my heart wanted it because it's cool. I mean, I see Jennifer McGuire using it, and Christina Warner, and there's, you know, just a bunch of cool people that I watch all the time, and I wanted it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Because I watched several videos this morning. I was having an insomnia problem. And I was up really early. And I was just looking at all these different videos of people opening their, you know, their um, Wink of Stella brush. So I'm going to open it. And it even has instructions right there of what to do. It tells you to... Um, remove the black ring by unscrewing pen. Retwist pen nib into the cartridge to the left. Replace cap and shake well until it clicks. Take off a cap, take off cap, and hold brush tip downward, gently squeezing barrel to start ink flow. And yeah. So here we go. And this is a water based pigment. And it is photo safe, acid free. So that's how it opens. And then you take it out. Looks like mascara or something, but it is not makeup. And that's the little black ring 
that you're supposed to take off so you unscrew it and basically it's a it's like a water brush you know the water brushes you just screw it on and you shake it and I hear there's like a mixing ball or something in there I'm not sure if that's the clicking that they're referring to or is there going to be a more significant click? I don't know. We shall see. It sounds like it's clicking. Okay. And then I have a little friend that's going to join me here. He's going to help me out today. <laughs> this is from a stamp set that Robin got at... Um, Tuesday morning that I want so badly. It has this awesome branch too and other little critters like um, it has a bird and it has a owl, it has two owls and then look at the sentiment. Sending you hedge hugs. I mean that's adorable and it has other sentiments too. It's so cute. I want it so bad. And so I'm hoping that my Tuesday morning will carry it because I have got, I love that it has like all this, these different patterns. That's so cool. And look at him. He's got like a cool pattern on him. I didn't do that. That's how it comes. And then I, so I, I, I stamped him with brown archival ink and I used distress inks and distress markers and I colored him in. And I inked his edges with brown, and then we're gonna do something to the branch, and we're gonna cut it out, and I'm gonna put it on a cool. This is gonna be for a Father's Day card. So let's see. So and then I have a pink piece of scrap that we'll use. So then it says the next thing you're supposed to do is open it up. Oh. Oh, there's the water looks just like a water brush then you start you hold it downward and I guess it should start flowing oh I see it it's coming I don't know if you can see that there is I don't know is it too close anyway we'll keep going here Okay, that was a lot. So, I saw other people did that too. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a problem, but now it's completely flowing. So, make sure that when you do this, don't do that on your project. Just go ahead and start it ahead of time. And then I think I'm just going to add some details. Now, this ink on here is permanent ink so it won't react. Um, someone said it doesn't react with distress ink, but we shall see. Because I'm thinking if it's water-based, that it would. Anyway, he is my, he's kind of like my um, practice guy, so he's not, this is all distress down here, so let's see what happens. really pretty it's really really pretty and then of course we're gonna cover it and it has a little place here which shows you what color it is and this says glitter I guess clear 999 and it says to store it upside down like that and you can see that the liquid is about that high so Oh no, there's, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I love it, Robin. Thank you so much. Let's see if you guys can see. Yeah, you can clearly see how sparkly that stuff is. It's crazy. It's really, really nice. And then there's my original piece that I 
that I did there. There's the glob that came out. Kind of wasteful, but you don't have to squeeze so hard. And the people that whose videos I watched said that, but I still, I still did it. So anyway, that's okay. And it dries pretty fast. This is dry right there. And he is dry as well. So that's cool. Oh, and his googly eye fell off. That's that glue that I gave you, Robin, from from that Aileen's glue that I got at Tuesday morning. See, it doesn't stick very well. That's why I was saying I didn't like it that much. But anyway, googly eyes on him to make him cute. So that's it. Just wanted to share my goodies. Thanks for watching. Bye.